Welcome back to Techno Sergeant YouTube channel. So AMD Ryzen has surpassed Intel Core CPUs in Korean DIY market and it comes from the the Danawa DPG group which are the analysts and they said they share the analyst report for their DIY outlet for AMD CPUs as you can see Intel versus AMD share from the starting point and it has surpassed it this month by 50.75 at the start it was 40% 40, 40 and now it's 55 so yeah 40 million to 55 it's a pretty nice increase and also the market share has also been increased as you can see 55% 55% is the CPU share 55.3% of AMD's Raphael like AM5 platform people are going on to AM5 platform at the start it was less because AM5 platform was not that good like it was expensive and the most selling chip is Ryzen 5 7500 and Ryzen 7 7800 XT so yeah, people are liking AM5 platform and AMD is committed to at least go till Ryzen 7000. We don't know about Ryzen 8000 though. Next up, we have some news regarding NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace and mostly it's super series. And Mega Size CPU has shown off something. As you can see, here is the new super logo and color kind looks kind of weird. And indeed, it is true, it is 4070 Ti Super. The two naming schemes went together. They, that was not ever happened they had their ti series which was separate and then super series which was separate but now they are just clubbing it don't know what nvidia is doing and the silver palette is spent on silver and it looks weird and the super naming scheme is also looking kind of bland according to me and we already know like what rtx 4080 super 4070 super 4070 ti super will have specifications so i don't need to go over it ever again and it is said to be launching on ces next year in january basically and yeah we already know the power consumption is going to be similar we already know the cuda cores the memory capacity i already made a video on it you can go back and watch the video and let's see what the pricing is going to be but yeah it is it looks weird like 4070 ts super next up we have some bad news for the amd owners which were using like vega and stuff like that earlier we had the news like they are going to decapitate it vega and polaris gpus and now it has been finalized because this gpu didn't got any new fixes and now it has been here so basically the and amd has came out and said that this gpus won't get won't be getting necessary gaming software updates like the polar amd confirms polaris and vega architecture will only to receive security patches like critical security patches and stuff like that so yeah it's an end of the era like the committed support is greater than for products AMD categorized as legacy but game gaming software like day one patches for huge games are not going to be there like the optimizations will not be there for Vegas and Vega was like three generation old which is weird to see because still now our GTX 750 Ti which is Maxwell architecture gets patches for gaming support and AMD is just dropping it and they said like it, there's no need for optimization for these gpus because the vega and graphics card are mature stable and performant and don't benefit as much from regular software tuning and going forward amd is only going to provide updates for polaris as critical updates so yeah and vega was not launched like people still have vega 64 on their cp on their gpus like in their gaming cards because after vega it was rdna and yeah it's weird to see but yeah if you have vega it's time for you to upgrade it and the weird thing is like they didn't mention about five ryzen 5600 or 5600 g because that supports vega also next up we have some news regarding ryzen 8000 g and this do not this is not ryzen 7000 g it is 8000 g and amd recently updated agas code and according to taiwanese motherboard manufacturer revealed by hkepc amd has provided es samples for testing and has received news that it is likely to be named ryzen 8000 g and there are four unknown SKUs at this point like 18 g ryzen 380 300 g ryzen 5 8500g ryzen 5 8600 g and ryzen 7 8700 g and do note we already got some news regarding it like 8300 g and 8500 g will be similar to ryzen ryzen 5 and ryzen 3 7445 u and ryzen 5 7545u so it will come with zen 5 and zen 5c cores so it will be based on the high performance and efficiency core architecture by amd like big dot little design by amd 
so yeah they are going to be indeed powerful and it will come with phoenix 2 cores like 8300g and 8400g so so 4 gen 4c cores and 8300g 3 gen c cores and 1 gen 4 core and it will come with 4 series of radeon 740m and do know 740m is going to be more powerful than ryzen 5 5600g because it is based on rdna3 they are just moving from vega to rdna3 which is truly insane ryzen 5 8500G will come with 6 cores, 12 thread, 4 Gen C cores and 2 Gen 4 cores. 4 C use of Radeon 740M. Ryzen 5 g is going to be 6 core, 12 thread. And it is going to be 8 C use of 6 760M. And 8700G it is 8 core 16 thread processor with 10 C use of Phoenix, 10 C use of RDNA 3. So 740M, 12 C use. So it's pretty insane to look at it and since it's not based on vega like it is like three generations up so it will be more power efficient and more powerful than any other thing but this just confirms it like 8000g is in production and we are going to get like 7000g pretty soon but yeah that's it for me today what do you think about all of the news going on sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace